Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Hopefully you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be recreating the Escape Running Head game from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with this game, I would say it's a very simplistic obby sort of game. It's not exactly an obby, but basically you run through this maze and there are giant heads, which you can see right down there, that chase you. And you basically have to make it from this end of the maze all the way down to the other one. And there's some obstacles in between, including some heads, which will chase you. I'll leave a link down below to the game in the description. If you guys want to go check it out and play it for yourself, I would definitely recommend it. Also, also, if this video does help you guys out or you guys want to see some more Roblox scripting and development videos, make sure you guys hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on. If you guys have any questions, there's a link down below to the community discord, which you guys can ask your questions in and get some help in there. You can also leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to help you out too. Finally, we also have a Patreon. If you guys would like to support me or get all access to the scripts and the game file, which I work on today, then you can get that from my Patreon down below as well. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into it. All right. So to get started, we are going to fire up a brand new classic base plate and now we are going to start off with building now keep in mind i am not an amazing builder or even really that good at all if i was going to make a game and have stuff built i would pay somebody to do that when it comes to building i'm not amazing and i don't recommend you take my uh tips or advice or tricks or anything like that when it comes to building but i'm going to try my best and uh we'll see what we can do this series is really mostly for the scripting side of things so the building aspect is not really what we're going to focus on too much we're going to make a folder called the spawn zone and this will be the little floor where people actually spawn at so let's set the anchor to true let's set the color to a uh that might be the right color i think black is the right color and then the material i don't know exactly what material that they used it might actually i think it actually might be plastic although it might be a different color i'm not entirely sure then we have to add a spawn location so let's uh move this i don't know this is sort of like in the center of it so i'd say right there and the spawn location is also smaller than usual so i think we can say like that is pretty good that might actually be a little too small but that's okay let's move this back a little bit further and then let's spawn in and make sure that it spawns us at the correct location and it looks uh similar okay yeah it definitely does look pretty similar to the game all right so now i want to make that green arrow that they sort of have pointing in the one direction i'm not exactly sure the best way to go about this like i said i'm not a builder but i am going to try my best best with creating this so it's very flat and small to the ground actually it's a little bit raised up i would say like that the color of this is green very very green so that's probably perfect and then we somehow need to make this glow which i don't know how to do so i'm gonna look that up real fast ah uh, okay so it seems like we just need to set the material to neon and that does make sense and let's see okay yeah, neon right there it looks pretty decently similar to how they have the arrow set up let's move it over a little bit more so it's kind of centered even though i don't even think they have it centered no they don't have it centered so that doesn't exactly matter too much although now that i'm looking at it they might not actually use neon i'm not sure what they use but we'll just say that that's sort of good enough and then we have to make an arrow out of this so you guys are probably going to laugh at my building abilities because they are so bad uh we also want to set it to not collidable so that we can sort of kind of put them inside of each other so like that and then let's move that back a little bit actually kind of like that and then duplicate that and then could we flip it okay there we go we flipped it using Control t which i actually didn't know was a thing now we've got to move it into place oh i keep accidentally hitting that okay wow that um that did not turn out as bad as i thought it would i mean it's not good right but it's it's not horrible i mean it kind of looks it kind of looks like uh, what it should look like so that's not bad um another thing is is that with this part uh we're just gonna call this floor let's actually lock this floor part so that we stop moving it on accident and honestly we could lock this model as well because we really don't need to do anything else with it and then let's anchor it too and then so yeah we've got the arrow and then we also have to get the portal set up here as well so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna make a, another folder inside of here called portals and then we are going to make a new model, I guess. And then we will add a new part. And okay, it seems like they just sort of have like a small little wall with some kind of material. I think the material might be something related to wood. So let's look into this. 
Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this material is wood planks, and then the color is some sort of brown, so I think like that, but maybe a little bit of a different color, but that's okay. We'll do that, and then and then we will rotate this, but I need to adjust my rotation real fast. Okay, so let's throw that on, and then we rotate it like that. Perfect, and then let's move it over a little bit. I would say, right, like that's not bad. Let's rename this model to Portal 1, and then we've got the part there, so let's also make sure that this this is anchored. And then I don't know what they do for the white. I'm just going to assume it might be a part, although I kind of don't think that is exactly what it is. So let's move this over to here. And then let's throw this against this, change the size up a little bit. And I'd say that it's like mostly flat. All right. That's not bad. Push it all the way against it. Make it a little bit wider. Okay, that's pretty decent. Push it all the way against it. Okay, that's not bad. Um, now, the material of this, I don't think it's neon, but it's got to be, I don't know, it's something. I think we might just set it to neon, to be honest, depending on how it looks. Yeah, I think it's kind of like neon. I don't know. It's very white. That's how they have it. And then also, we can set the collision on this off so that we can actually push it inside like that and then sort of center it. I I think that's pretty decent maybe uh and then let's of course make sure that that's anchored and i would say that that's sort of what their portals look like actually let's make this smaller now and then we need to add a surface ui to this so add surface ui and then just a simple little text label and then the text label will be uh text would be stage two and then we will set the text to scaled Set it to scaled, the color is, there is no stroke, the color is white. And then the background, it has no background, so we need to set the transparency to two, to one. And then we do need to uh, move this a little bit. So position, I would say, I don't know, 0.1. That's not bad. 0.15, uh, that might be good, but maybe we'll hit it with a 0.2. And that's pretty good. I think that's like almost spot on. They definitely use a different font, but I really don't care to get too detailed like that. So there we go. We've got the portal. It is definitely not perfect or exactly like how it is, but it's still not bad at all. Now, additionally, let's go ahead and name all of these uh, stage, stage text. Service UI can stay the same. This is the, um, I'll just call this the background. And then we will name this part, I don't know, just like white because I don't really know what else you would name it. Maybe like door. We could probably just name it door, I guess. Um, and then portal one's not bad. And then we can just clone this and move it around a little bit. And then we can move this over. We will put this uh, right here. That's pretty good. And then we can name this portal two. And then we can do this for every single portal real fast. All right. So we've got them all laid out. We just actually have to change the stage text real fast. And then we will be completely done with these. All right. So we got nine, eight, seven, six six, five, four, three, and two, and that's good for those. Now we've got to copy these one more time. We've actually just got to make two more real fast and we're going to bring them right over to here. This is going to be for the single play and boss ones. All right, there we go. Those are all good to go. We actually might have to scale all the text. Oh no, actually the text are all perfectly fine. So we don't have to worry about that, but um, yeah, those are, uh, we are good on all the portals now. Also, let's rename this model right here to Arrow so that we can uh, kind of remember what that is. And then on the backside, there are two like little leaderboard things. So we've got to craft, so we got to make those real fast. I'm just going to make a folder and name it leaderboards. And then we'll just kind of uh, make it inside of there. So with the leaderboards, uh, they're pretty thin. They're just very tall so i would say something about that is basically what we are needing to do and then i would say there's one like right there and then we just need to adjust the color of it a little bit let's rename this to leader board and the color of it is um well it's actually like white and then it's actually like probably 0.5 transparent. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. And now let's actually name this donation board. And then we will make another one and we will name this coin board. And then let's move these over, this one over a little bit, boom. And then we need to throw another surface UI onto it. And then let's throw another text label onto it. Ah, okay, I was actually finding it hard to see where the surface UI was, but I found it. We need to change the side to, um, I don't actually know what side we've got to change it 
to. I guess we'll figure that out, though. Okay, so it seems like the side we need to change it to is right, and then we can uh, start working with the text label. So this one, uh, the text on this one is donation rank, and the color of it, well, there is no background. We'll just set the transparency to zero or to one in a minute, and the color of it is uh, like a blue like that, I would say. Oh, we actually just set the text stroke. The text color is uh, sort of like a blue like that, I would say, and then the background, we need to set that to one. We need to scale it, and that's pretty good. And then we need to set the position to, I don't know, what do we say, 0.2? No, 0.4. Okay, yeah, I would say 0.4 is actually like pretty much in the middle. That's pretty nice. And then we could also adjust the size a little bit to make it slightly bigger. Like, let's see, what is... All right, so we'll set the size of it to 0.3 and 0.1. That's not bad, but then we also have to readjust the position a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll say, what, 0.35 maybe? Yeah, I think that is pretty much perfect. It's not too bad. Then we will duplicate this Surface GUI and throw it onto this one. And then all we have to do for this one is just change the text to coin rank and the color of it will be yellow boom there we go that's pretty good and then we'll also and then we gotta actually add the leaderboards to this but we'll do that later i'm just trying to get the entire thing set up here all right so we've got the leaderboards done let's uh, make sure that they're scaled right yeah those look completely fine then he also has another thing for donations so they're like small little tiny donation boards so let's add another part the donation things are like right here so let's say that's pretty good like that i would say honestly and then we need to bring this down we'll bring in a little bit this way and that is pretty good and then i don't know we'll just rename this to board because that's sort of what it is and then of course we need another service gui let's just put it like that and the side oh yeah that is actually the right side we just need it to be bigger let's just say one honestly the y can also be like 0.2 and we just need to adjust the position to 0000, zero, zero, zero and that's pretty good and then the text we will just have it as donate the color of this text is like purplish so we'll say that and then we just need to add another text label just copy this and position will be a little bit down on the y-axis so like point two yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Size of it, uh, we want to extend the Y to like 0.5, I would say. And the text is going to be 100 Robux. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then the text color is going to be white. Awesome. That looks pretty decent. That looks very similar to how he actually has it. And then the board, the color that we're going to make this is black. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we've pretty much got that going for us. Could probably size this down a little bit. All right, there we go. And then let's just duplicate this. We just need to do it two more times. So boom, and then one more time and boom, there we go. And now we just got to adjust the amounts. So instead of 100, we are going to say 1000. And instead of 100, we are going to say 10,000. Those are some big donations. Okay, so we've got all of those, and um, that's pretty good. We actually have one more thing that we need to add, and it's a little sign right over here. So I'm just going to add in a new model, and I'm going to name it sign. And then inside of this, we're going to have a few parts. All right, so we've got the little stick part. Now we will just copy this and expand it just like that. Move it up a little bit, and actually, we just set this to not collidable so we can stick that right onto it move it over a tiny bit okay there we go it's actually kind of a little bit smaller so i would say it's about that size maybe it's probably smaller than that to be honest but that's okay and it's actually smaller than the stick so we'll say it's something like that ish and then it's got some weird glass that hangs off of it it's kind of really weirdly built i'm not gonna lie but that's okay so we'll do something like this and uh the transparency is like one or no the transparency is probably like point five i would say and that um is sort of good enough it's not perfect but i don't really care too much to go more in detail so i'll just call it good right there then we gotta add another service gui which we will just take this one right here and throw it directly onto the part and it looks like it's on the wrong side so let's look at the side we just gotta probably throw it on the back side this time and yeah, that's exactly what we had to do. Then we just got to size it up and change the position a little bit. So the size we are going to go with, I don't know, one and zero. That's good enough for me. And then 
we'll just do one and zero and the position we're just going to set it to zero 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 and that's not bad and then the text is going to say 90 coin and that looks pretty good so we've got the sign built and then we also just have to throw an image on the sign but i'm not going to do that right now and then we have to make sure that these are all anchored so that's good enough for me and i think we're all good to go so let's hit play real quick and like look around real fast and make sure that everything looks decently similar everything's anchored and everything and yeah it looks it looks fine it doesn't look terrible it sort of looks like how he has it and it looks close enough okay so now i have to build this entire maze which i'm not really going to go through because it's a lot so i'm going to try to build this as quick as i can basically i am going to insert a new folder and we're going to name this maze and we're just going to start building it. All right. So I got sort of the entrance built a little bit. Basically I made a folder for walls and I made a folder for glass. And these right here are two different walls. You can see that. And then we have the glass, which the glass is literally the same thing as the wall. It's the material is wood. The color is like gray or whatever. This is actually smoke gray instead of medium stone gray. And then the transparency on this is like 0.5. So that's the only difference between them. They're all anchored and that's what you need to make sure of. And then we are just going to duplicate these and we're actually just going to flip them. And then I would say that the entrance is probably like, eh, probably a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Slam that down on the ground. And actually we could move all of these around just a little bit so that they're like centered and okay that's not bad there we go we've got that all done we'll pull that all the way over like that turn on collide again and then that's kind of good they are not spaced perfectly but that's fine with me so now we have to build a ladder over all right so we've got that sort of built now we have to add ladders which i have never added ladders before so i'm gonna have to figure out how to do that rather than figuring it out i figured why not we why don't we just look up the model and see See if we could just use one of these and i'm hoping that this will work and yeah there's not even a script in there or nothing so that's very nice now let's oh we cannot size it up oh okay well whatever it's not too big of a deal we will just make a couple of these let's throw that inside of ladder and then the color of this is like a brownish so yeah we'll say that then we just gotta duplicate them a few times and we should have all of our ladders all right we've got them all laid out but they're not really too centered and I can't exactly make another one. So we'll just center them like that. And I think that's pretty good. I don't think that's that bad. Now let's go ahead and play the game and make sure, of course, everything's anchored. And let's hopefully the scaling, like the size of this is all good, which I don't think this is bad at all. So let's go down here. And yeah, I would say that the sizing is actually about correct. So, okay, I'm liking this. We're making some pretty decent progress. That's not bad at all. Since we've got all this built, let's start building the outside. And I'm gonna start building the outside outside of the spawn first there's like a little wall that goes around here so we're gonna build that real quick okay so we've got the barrier around the spawn built i think it's not too bad i mean it's not perfect but it's still pretty decent yeah looks pretty good and everything's collidable everything is anchored that's exactly what we wanted all right now to build the uh perimeter of the maze let's start working on that now the one thing that i'm slightly slightly worried about is the actual scaling and the size of the maze i hope that i don't make it too big or too small it's not too big of a deal but i that's the one thing that i'm kind of worried about that i don't know how to sort of improve or guarantee that that won't happen but yeah I, it's not a horrible thing if it does happen we'll just have to adjust things accordingly all right so now that we got that built we could build the backside, but there's like a lot of holes and stuff inside of that which i don't exactly want to build right now so we're going to just start building the inside okay so with a lot of blood sweat and tears i think that i've mostly finished the entire outline of the maze uh we still need to add like the steps the stairs the red things and some ladders and stuff like that and then we also have to build the exit but for the most part i think we're pretty much kind of built the entire outline it might be a little bit off i don't think it is off really at all maybe the sizing of it is off but that was very hard to sort of make perfect but apart from the sizing i think it's all pretty much the exact same it was really hard to recreate because it's not like i could do like an overhead view of this entire maze i literally had to like sit at the spawn or sit at different positions in the game and sort of jump to see how all the walls were set up and stuff like that so it really was not that easy but I tried my best. Oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think we have finally finished building this entire maze for the most part. There are like two things that we're missing. One, the sign right here. I didn't feel like making that. And then also we need to copy the sign from the spawn and put that right here as well. But we still need to find that image that we're going to put on the sign over here. So once I get this image, I'll just copy and paste it directly over to here too. And we'll have it both set up. Um, but apart from that, we have the jumps. We have like the, uh, we have the ending zone made up. We have the two jumps here. We've got the one jump right there there the one jump right there and i'm pretty sure that's every single thing so considering this recording is like 30 minutes long hopefully i trim it down a lot we are officially done with the building and i think i might end it here and then pick it up on the second episode and script the entire thing but anyway if you guys did enjoy this and if this did help you guys out make sure you smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see some more roblox development videos if you guys have any questions there's a link down below in the description of my discord you guys can come and join and talk and ask the questions in there i also have a patreon if you guys would like to support me and have access to this entire entire creation and all the files and everything like that you guys can go down below in the description and join the patreon anyway that's it for this video i hope that you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next episode